What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Still have more stipulations in the queue, but I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. And I don't like doing that anymore until I actually open the first pack, and then I can figure out which direction we're going to go. Also, Villy said he was going to be here today, and we could do his stip today, but I have not seen him today, so... Is <laughs> Shitty Mike a new person? I like that Mike just rubs his forehead on your thousand. Yeah, I don't understand. I it, it it drives me insane. I'm like, why are you why do you keep doing this? I don't understand it. Oh, uh, it's not off. It's just as a, it's a whatever. Who, don't let it get to you. Just, if you just, if you if you it's more afraid of you than you are of it. Okay, so stipulations we have: dragons, upheaval, wildfire. I see neither. Can't play any equipment or any cards that include our target. And then stacks. Um, are there any dragons in this pack? I do not see any. We could just take tendrils and force the storm. I bet you guys want to do stormy. Dak actually seems great. I'm going to just take the deck. I'm going to take the deck. I'm going to take the deck. We could have had bargain. We could have had... Tendril's Bargain. I just don't like Storm. I feel like it does nothing a lot of times. And then, you know, sometimes it's cool, but sometimes it does nothing. And i just rather have decks that always try to do something. Did you see my Flabloop meme? No, I don't think so. Take the deck to build the deck. What does that even mean? Is that like a... It's not like a play on words. Look at these three signets. I'm a big fan of like team or mid range decks with like stupid idiot creatures in here. What's it, what do you mean go look at it? Where is it? I don't know where it is. Can you send it to me? Can you link it? I'm I don't know if you know this, but I'm actually streaming. So if you're able to link it to me and uh, make it easy for me to find. So that I don't have to like go to my browser and start entering web pages and hope I find it. Take my money. Storm here. Don't think I do anything, huh? Well, I'm doing something right now. Nerd. <laughs> wow, I just got called out by Storm. I think I'm taking the Simic Signet. Rafelos? Oh, you little elf bitch. Coligon's Command and Nicol Bolas. Oh, boy. See, I don't want to play the strongest, most broken strategies in Cube. I just want to play the coolest cards. Can you just link the tweet, dude? Just link the tweet. You did a meme? Link the meme. <laughs> Are there Command the Dreadhorde decks going around? Like, is that a thing? Um, I I don't think we're an opposition deck. I don't think we have the makings of that. Infernal Titan is a strong gentleman. Sower is a strong gentleman as well. Gentle lady. Fiery Confluence is consistently good. This means nothing to us yet. Uh, if Nicol Bolas comes back, I'm going to feel good about taking this Black Cleave Cliffs. Could just be Dismember. All the pros are playing Command the Dreadhorde? What? Seriously? Am I missing something? Am I missing something cool that's happening? Can you link that? Arid Mesa, I think, is okay. God, they're really pushing us towards Sultai here, aren't they? With the Simic Signet and this Bayou that we're taking. No, Teamer. Oh, no. <laughs> this is off-color completely. 
Oh man, I got excited about this, but this is Teamer, not Soul Time. Oh. Well, you can stop watching me for two seconds, find the link, then copy it, then come back to the to the chat, right? And then paste it. Or tell me where to find it. I don't know, man. You're being real difficult right now, Rob. I'm getting real distracted with the command of the Dread Horde and chat and all the things that are happening right now. So I apologize if I mispicked on this bayou, but... Can someone please time out Rob for 100 years? Oh, Ninja Gumby, I saw the meme. I was I was curious about the Dread Horde decks. It's one of these two. I think it's just Worm Coil. Stomping Ground is good for the Teamer deck that we're trying to work on here. I can't believe the Tendrils came back, though. That's pretty unbelievable. Someone took Mind's Desire. Now they're going to get rewarded. And the Yawgmoth's Bargain comes back. Well, that's fascinating. God, oh my god, these Storm Pieces are insane. And the Nicol Bolas didn't come back? Come on. People, people are haters. I took the mines. Why are you? Why do you always get in the same queue as me? That's unbelievable, man. <laughs> yeah, I want the bolus, but I also want this Vraska now. Eh, we'll take the bolus. I play during my lunch. All right, that's fair, I guess. Okay, you win. I'm basically four color green right now, right? Which I think is actually fine. Uh, Daredevil actually seems fine. Well, that's a dude, all right. We need to take all the, uh, the black, black based fixing that we can find here. Because this nickel bullet is going to be a difficult, a difficult task here. I'm going to be like, uh, I'm going to brainstorm. Uh, I'm going to brainstorm. Rub two magic cards together long enough to make a dumpster fire. That sounds like it's going to take quite a while. Uh, Scalding Tarn seems fantastic. Fractured Identity seems fantastic as well. However, keep in mind that we're not playing white, guys. Baleful Strix is great. I'm going to take the Scalding Tarn. I'm going to take the Misty Rainforest. Channel is just fantastic. Mike, uh, there's a channel coming your way, buddy, if that interests you. You seem to be loving channel. I hope you're in green. We have nothing to channel, though. This is not a channel deck. This is a Misty Rainforest deck, though. It does. <laughs> you're welcome, friend. You're welcome. Look at that. Friends helping friends. We could play white, but we have no fixing for white whatsoever. Not even our dual lands are getting white here, so. Blood Crypt, that is a perfect land, guys. A perfect land. Uh, 
Oh, was this a team draft? Yeah. Hey, Mike, I'm passing you this card. Now, Mike's literally just like upstream from me right here. So, followed by Ankle Shanker and Guinea Pig 69. Nice. And Bullfrogs. Oh my god, Rob just sent me like 13 fuck Dude, what are these screenshots? Rob just sent me like 19 screenshots. Like it's literal a lot of screenshots. Wandering Fumeral is nice. It's not black, though. Uh, Yawgmoth's Will would be fantastic if we were playing the uh, the Storm deck that we've been passing. However, keep in mind that we just haven't had... Uh, I haven't seen many rituals, as far as I can tell. Was it eight? Let's see. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. It's a lot. Was it Command the Dread Horde card? I was like, this card's going to be very, very good. Wow! An Overgrown Tomb of Taiga and a Watery Grave in this pack? Please. Oh my god. I think we want the Watery Grave for sure. We already have a Stomping Ground and we already have a Bayou, so it's we definitely want the Black Blue Land. Wow, that's nuts. We also do want some more. I wish we took that Golgari Signet back when we had the chance, but... So what's the uh, what's the gimmick with the deck though? Like, how do they win? I mean, like, how do they uh, how do they not die to their their command the dread horde? Is my question, I guess. <clears throat> Mox or force? Is that a? Uh, are you having to make that choice? Because I think it's always Mox, hundred percent. 100% always box. Um, this guy seems strong. <clears throat> Fast bond. Vampiric tutor seems okay. Xenagos also seems just fine. I like lumbering falls, but like. We're really trying to limit the number of non-black lands we have because of the Snickleballus, but even if we cast Snickleballus on like turn six or whatever. Let me take Santa goes. Oh, Breeding Pool? Oh, Thief of Sanity? Oh boy. <clears throat> oh man, I really like Breeding Pool. I'm going to take Thief of Sanity. I think it, we just need playables, and it's, it's a very good playable. Isn't it meant to be cast on turn two? Actually, I think you're right. Just him to Torok? Eternal Witness is nice. I don't know how heavy green we're going to be, though. Mm, Shriek Maw. Sure. Man, I kind of want this. <laughs> I'll just take Night's Whisper, actually. Drawing two is fine. Brain Freeze? <clears throat> Someone's going to last pick Brain Freeze. It's Mike. It's McGimp. So you're going over here, and also... I can see playing this, like... Could be fine. Treachery. Yeah, I feel like treachery is pretty good. It's not power, but it's pretty good. Uh, this is not a stip. 
This is a draft. This is just a regular draft, my dude. Yeah, there's nothing in this pack that competes with the treasury. Wrong Ancestral Visions magic online. Oh, Coalition Relic is gas. That is a very, very nice. Maelstrom Pulse? Probably pretty good. Yeah, I'll take Maelstrom Pulse. Our playables have went up considerably, so. No, this is a Coalition Belt Relic deck for sure. Wow, Maelstrom Poop. That's something right there. That's the way the teddy bears have their picnic. <clears throat> oh. Huh. Just a casual underground sea. Hmm. Which we can get with both Scalding Tarn and Misty Rainforest. Hmm. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Time Spiral? I'm tempted to just take Time Spiral. Could also take Lava Claw Reaches. I have Tater Gems. <laughs> That's. Oh, okay, because someone asked for candy. I don't even think you can get that candy, my, my dude. I think I just want this Lava Claw Reaches, to be honest with you. It just enables a lot of things. And the only other... Well, we have Black Cleave Cliffs, I guess. We do have Snapcaster. Snapcaster Time Warp's pretty good. Oh, that's sad. Eh, Ponder's actually pretty nice. Here's a Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual is a turn three uh, Nicobolus, right? Oh, frantic search? Yeah, I think our, I think our storm deck would have actually been pretty decent. We could have brains freeze, mind's desire, yogmoss bargain, uh, tendrils, yogmoss will. <sighs> Cryptic command is nice. Does Wilderness Reclamation actually do anything for us? I don't think so. I don't think we have that many instants that can really take advantage of it. in flames also dece i like Vraska's content more than like mastermind necrotol is whatever i guess really i just like planeswalkers to make creatures a lot i think they're very very good especially when you can play them on turn three i'm pretty sure wall of roots is a cut i mean i don't care about making it. we're not that green I mean, I didn't say cut the green, but we have so much easy green mana. Oh, Mystic Snake. Thrag Tusk is good. All three of these are very, very good. Yeah, I'm taking Mystic Snake. Oh, Lava Claw Reaches comes back? That's gas. Pernicious Deed? Deal. Uh, Chupacabra is in the cube. I actually think we cut Search for Mara. I don't think I care about it. And I don't like I don't love the black on the double black on him to Torak, but I think it's actually just very good. Did you just call me? 
No one called you. <sighs> Shut up and take my money. Pornicious deed. Wow. Did you just call me? No. No, sir. I did not. Cut the green? I mean, cutting the green is stupid. Because then we have to get rid of this, this, and this. And then we get rid of this, this, this. Is that good? I guess we can still cut Misty, right? That's 21. What are we adding? Necrotol and like frantic search? That actually seems good. Simic Signet's less powerful. <laughs> You're stupid. That was mean. Dang it. Got me. Got me. It feels so good to burn you like that live on stream. Wow. Mike, have a good afternoon, buddy. Um, this seems more consistent. But boy, it doesn't just seems like a free splash with a stomping ground to buy you. And a Simic Signet and a Coalition Relic. Like, it just doesn't seem like it's necessary. Also, I do like having a counter spell. I don't think I just don't think it's necessary. We get we have to make one cut here. Mm, it might be direfully daredevil until we can see what they actually have. But then again, like it's it's vintage cube. Like they're probably gonna have something broken. That would be my guess. Yeah, I think expansion explosion is the most likely cut. Your what does that mean? Is that a card? What's happening right now? Alright, so... This is something. Blue and black are clearly our most represented colors. I'm too dumb I'm too dumb to know if that was rude or not. <laughs> oh lord. If what was real yeah, like what did he say? I didn't even say anything. I think you're responding to the wrong person, bro. Okay. Black source is one, two, three, four. Misty is definitely five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. All right, 10, 10 works for now. Blue sources, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 works. Probably go up to 8. Red, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Definitely cut that. And do we want one forest at all? We have Bayou, 
Misty, Scalding, Stomping, Signet. I don't think so. I think we just want another, another one of these guys. Oh yeah, this deck looks great. Is it good? I don't know. Is it great? Probably. Mana base on point. You know what? I'll keep this hand. It doesn't do anything, but it could. Thank you. Let's scalding tarn. We have a blue, so we need a blue green. We didn't take that breeding pool, unfortunately. We can get a bayou. Chunk of junk. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, uh, yeah, that's unfortunate, but we're going to Shriek Maw that thing immediately. Oh, we're playing against old Pablo Doritos again. A classic. Uh, Stomping Ground, also an option. I think our odds of hitting a blue source are uh, significantly higher than hitting one of our green sources. Yeah, there you go. There's one right now. Yeah, I don't need you to be like putting a skull clamp on this and making a dude next turn. Rift wing clouds gate. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, little rift wing clouds gate. Living on a cloud skate city. So we can play. I'm going to play a swamp here because now we still have Mystic Snake, but if we draw Nicol Bolas, we can play it. Uh, No step here. No stipulations. Ugh. Every day, steps are getting closer. Gonna play a batter skill, gonna counter it. Not gonna use that for black. We're gonna use a blue and a blue and a one and a green. Okay. Okay. What did I walk into? My dad. Um, tend to just activate Wandering Fumeral. We don't have counter spells here. I can pulse this, but I really just don't care. We're not going to time warp yet. Get him. <laughs> I'll bounce your wandering fumaroles. <laughs> okay, you got it. Oh, wow. Sure. Oh, geez. Oh, jeez, Rick. All right, so. I 
I really don't care about taking this. It's pretty unimpressive. I will play an angel of invention. Yes. Inferno Titan here would be pretty nice. Although, hmm, now they get to just draw four. Ah, oh, that seems bad. I'm actually wishing we stole this and then... Oh, God, that was just so bad. Yeah, I've also tried to unclog an ear with hydrogen peroxide. Uh, it definitely, it, it takes a little while. It mostly just loosens it. Yep, draw two. Yikes, this is so bad. Mistakes were made, guys. Oh, are you just going to steal my Civic Signet, too? Wow, you got no class, my dude. That's pretty good. We time warp here, then play Nicol Bolas, because then we can attack the deck. One, two, three. Black, 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 red, nope, red, blue, nickel bolus. <coughs> How can you steal skull clamp? Oh, because, yeah, but then if I steal, like, but then I'm, then Nicol Bolas just dies, right? Because it starts at four, so he goes to, uh, he goes to, like, one from stealing this. And then they just attack Nicol Bolas with Riftwing Cloudscape? Like. Oh, because he's on board? Oh, that's pretty, yeah, you're right. So we steal this, and then next, this turn, we actually do it, and then we kill Dak. Yeah, that's actually interesting. That does work. That's a lot of things going on, though. You draw a card. Each opponent exiles. Destroy target creature planeswalker. Each player draws a card. Target player draws a card. Let's do the plus one of Nicol Bolas himself. I have three cards in hand. I kind of want to make sure this guy dies. I don't actually think they have an answer to this, though, right? Yeah, that's when they do, though.
It's always Archangel Avacyn, isn't it? No. Irrelevant. Spaghetti! I do know spaghetti. Oh, boy. When are other walkers' abilities going to be better than just using Bolas? Probably... That seems rare. <laughs> oh, look. Vigilance. I got a Thief of Sanity. Seems amazing. Congratulations. Snapcaster into Maelstrom Pulse would be great here. Let's do that. Oh, Black Cleave Cliffs. Cool. Seems good. I guess we could block and have one more draw. Let's see what we would have hit, guys. Nope. Inferno Titan? Yep, that doesn't do anything. <clears throat> okay, so Necrotal is actually not terrible here, I guess. Beast of Then actually seems pretty good because they have a bunch of creatures. Or a bunch of uh, planeswalker guys. <laughs> planeswalker guys. What do we see against Direfully Daredevil? We saw Burst Lightning. Rob, have a good uh, have a good game. Good luck. Our deck seemed great. I don't know what we were missing. Uh, what can Scalding Horn get us? I don't know. Stomping Ground, I guess. But then we have two. Hmm. It can get us. We want to get a green source, but the only green source we can get is. God, I really wish you took the breeding pool. It can get everything, but I don't want to. I don't want to go too crazy on. I don't want to go too crazy on black, or on on red sources because I want to be able to cast Nicol Bolas. But I mean, we're definitely getting stomping around because it's one of the only green sources we can get. I mean, we're still on point for drawing for playing bolus we got black 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 blue red so if they don't have anything in this turn if they just play something stupid they didn't so i don't know if i just walk into a hmm We didn't see any counter spells in game one, but of course they have one now. Oh, I want to just die sometimes. <laughs> Shit. 
sure. That's fine. I'll just play Jace. Even that's not my ground tap, huh? Okay, man. Banishing Geist of Saint Draft. Geist of Saint Draft. Boba Fett. Worm Coil. Path to Exile. I just died in your arms tonight Must have been something you said Wouldn't have walked away Are we going to activate this colonnade? That's aggressive Let's see who's going where you're going to Jace, you're going to Jace, you're going to Jace. Um, so if we block the if we block here, they just kill it with a Johnny. And Jace is dying no matter what. So we're actually going to block the Geist of Saint Traft. And then keep our our Johnny. Philly, have a good afternoon, buddy. And we're going to put those two lands that are on the top in the trash can. Sure. So don't I just get to kill your Johnny? Because that seems really good. So we get to go we get to go Dak Faden. Steal your mox. <laughs> Kill your Johnny. Yeah, that seems like a good turn. Then we get to keep up ultimate price in case you want to attack our uh <clears throat> our Daki boy. It just doesn't look like you want to do. So basically what I can do is keep up Mystic Snake and just kill you. Here comes Avacyn. No Avacyn? Uh, I'll just pay one of these instead. No? I was hoping to hit a land drop there, but... Didn't even activate Dak. Didn't even Dak activate there. All right, we win the game. <laughs> Seems good. Avison was my last hope. Alternatively, we could have actually just ultimate priced her in response, which would have also been good, but. Oh, yeah, price can't kill Colony. That's a good point. That is a good point. Again, what did we see? We saw mana leak, actually. But you're never going to be able to mana leak. So. 
Oh, I could just die to control tonight. Must have been something you said. So next turn we're going to go up to eight cards, we play this and this, we go up to six cards, we have to discard. I'm not a big fan of discarding. Signet. Dismember. I'm a little concerned about a uh, about a Geist of Saint draft here. Oh, we're missing land drops. Oh, that's fascinating. I mean, I don't think this is resolving, but I think that's fine. Sure. I mean, I got all the colors of the rainbow. Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? Oh, I don't think we have anything to get with this Scalding Tarn, actually, except for, like, Island or Mountain. So I guess we'll get an Island, but I don't like that because having two Islands in play is worse in case we draw a Nicol Bolas, we just can't play it next turn. Sure. Wait! That's the... Fuck! Those were not the two I wanted to sacrifice. Wow. Wow. Why would it choose the, the lands you want to... Show us which ones you want to keep. That's weird, man. I remember when I cast that the other day, I had to read it, and it was really kind of weird. Did you... Were you, just, were you just sandbagging lands to, like... To balance? That's weird. What if they had that they that we care about sneak attacking? We haven't seen a single thing worth sneak attacking. Looks like I like Emrakul. Ulamog. <laughs> Is this real? Like, what's even going on, dude? Uh... Yep. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands in our graveyard. That means we have. This is where they just untap and burst lightning our face. Shuffle. Yep, I don't think we can actually cast that. We have Bio Stomping Ground in the graveyard. Yep. Re 
real cool. I have no idea if they just like sandbag lands to balance, which seems f absolutely terrible in the Vintage Cube. Uh, <laughs> and then play to land post balance, like. Rockfile, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, Christ. Cool. Go from five drop, six drop hand to only six drop hand. But I'll keep it because, really, I'd rather not go to five, so... Look, it's like the same 5-drop, 6-drop hand, only this time we have one fewer cards. I mean, if we draw Coalition Relic into Bolus, I'll be okay with it, but... Hmm, I see. That's not it. Yeah, the London Mulligan is nice. I do think they want to analyze it a bit and see if it's actually uh, a, a net positive. Here comes Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, you're just attacking with the Creeping Tar Pit. That is less threatening. All right. I suppose we'll get a stomping ground. This is not ideal, but it sets them back a little bit, and uh, we should be able to play Doom Whisper and Inferno Titan. Because they didn't have anything to do last turn with four mana, so this turn, yeah, I, I assumed it would be more of the same. Also, if we draw Nicol Bolas, it'd be great. Draw a Treachery. That's close. I mean, it's also incredible. Like, we've always been able to cast Nicol Bolas if we've drawn him. This deck seemed better than our first deck. And our first deck went 2-1. And this deck is already down a match, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll surveil once. What do you do when you want both of these? Yeah, we're going to keep them both. <laughs> and then we'll just play Inferno Titan next turn, so... So next turn we can go uh, him to Torok and Thief of Sanity. And if they play like big fat idiot creature, that's okay. That's not okay. But they have two cards in hand, so that sh should be fine. Earthwing Cloudscape. Grave Titan and Yawgmoth's Bargain. I cannot imagine better hits than that. They might actually just pay for this so we don't get through. And then I, in, in which case, if I had a second blue, I would definitely treachery this guy. Yep, that's what I figured.
Oh, Jesus. Well, not a card I'm really interested in using here, but if they activate this creeping tar pit, then we're talking. I don't know why they didn't attack last turn. That's very strange. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? Yep, this is where Shriek Maw is absolute hot trash. So we were considering Vraskus could tempting, but if we drew a blue, I'd rather Treachery the Grave Titan, but then I also remember they have Riftwing Cloudskate. So our options were probably Vraskus Contempt the Titan, but they still have... They're going to still get Riftwing Cloudskate down. They had two zombies, so that's six power right there. Uh, they also had one power from Bone Shredder, which is seven, and they had three from Creeping Tar Pit, which is ten, and uh, we would have still been dead. So Nothing really matters to me. Draw some blue sources. How's that sound? I guess it sounds pretty good. Let's get a watery grave. I wish we had a steam vents or a volcanic island. That would be fantastic. But alas, it was not meant to be. Well, that's pretty good against uh, Thief of Sanity. We'll leave you all behind and face the truth, Mama. Ooh, don't have dismember. <laughs> Just feels like they aren't coming back. Sometimes they just don't come back from the, uh... So nothing really matters. Actually, we can just wait. <laughs> I think we're dead. I don't feel like this game is going well, even though our hand is gas. Does that deserve my attention more? Probably. Alright, any land and we're good. Because then we can just play Inferno Titan and kill the three fairy rogues. Is 
Is this just going to be uh, Grave Titan? Come on, land. Any non black cleave cliffs wandering fumarole land. That shall do. I've got to go. Don't have any response to this this Inferno Titan, man. Don't do it. Well, they didn't take two there, so they have a blue card. Oh, they have a dismember. Yeah, I'll just take it. Mama. Ooh. So one, two, three. Kill these guys. So one, two, three, four. We can pump once, right? Sometimes I wish I never had this member at all. Doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> well, this worked out pretty well, unless they cast shoulder, but I guess we have ultimate price for that. Oh, they did not attack Jace. That's fascinating. That's very fascinating. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um... Put you and then you. We got. Yep. Knew you had that. And a gristle brand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, they could just cast that dude next turn. Yeah, this is fine. Um, put you and then you and then you. No, I'll just keep treachery just in case. We'll pass. So you're at six. I could have pumped twice last turn, put you to four, and you just be dead to the. Yeah, you're dead. Man, Beast Within seems even better now that we saw like Recurring Nightmare and uh, Bitter Blossom. Pernicious Deed also not bad. I would worry about it getting rid of these, but that's pretty much it. Deed seems pretty good, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll keep the sand. Seems good.
Blue black, huh? Zach, or what's going on, my dude? So if they play a non-Geist of St. Draft creature, I think that's okay. Play like a Coalition Relic, that'd be such gas. Did we see Counterspells previously? Hold on, let me look up this. I'm going to select all of this, put it in a notepad, edit, find... Do you see that? No. No. Let's try up. Okay. Guess that was a previous game. Just won my FNM, got the new card. Nice, congrats, buddy. Well done. Three swamps and an island. Doesn't seem like coalition relic defeating mana. boy oh no yeah you can have that one I'm gonna take the good one this is why you keep the deck fading well that's also an option uh, let's go blue so one two three uh -huh. we could just play this but i think we're just stealing this thran dynamo for sure we could also kill their blue during their upkeep there Move yourself. Because then they have one, two, three, four mana, which means they can't. They can't grave titan if they hit a land, which is what I'm kind of afraid of. Also, taking them off blue mana seems nuts. They can? What does that mean? They were at five, yeah. Now they're at four. If you kill the land, they do not get to keep five mana. There you go. You're you're there. You figured it out. You caught up. Oh, creeping tarpet's a good one too. Oh man, so many lands in hand though. This is nice because we can discard these these lands. making it even better one two three four five six well we want it we do want a green source outside we can get a bayou here so we're going to get rid of watery grave and stomping ground
That's my wormy boy. I kind of want to play Misty because I want to be able to... Uh, I guess we got to... Nah, never mind. That doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, I want to be able to beast it in this creeping tar pit if they attack with it. But, like, that's we don't have the mana for that at all, so... We'll just take the just take the loss with the deck fading, I guess. If they want to, like... They also need a second blue, and if they want to use, like, most of their turn to... All right, four, five, six. Here comes the Grave Titan. And if they play Grave Titan, and we're gonna we're gonna try to hit a Treachery first. That's fine. Unfortunate, but them's the breaks. I mean, worst case scenario, we like we can wait for them to pay six, right? No, because once they do that, this is on the stack. I'm tempted to just snapcast or block because it lets us get another look next turn, which is pretty good. Alternatively, if we don't Snapcaster, we can Beast within this, which is probably better. I guess we could just Ultimate Price this, too. <laughs> That's an option as well. I was so scared about Grave Titan that I was like, wait, I can't get rid of this Ultimate Price. No, I can. We have Snapcaster. That's totally fine. Yeah, that's probably better. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're getting rid of Dismember and Land, probably, right? Green, black, blue. I have three cards in hand. Our our three our three card two cards in hand. Okay, that's one. Are you just gonna gristle brand here? Ugh. Yep, like you do. I mean, we get to kill it, which is kind of cool, I guess. But oh, we get to just treachery it. Oh, that's even better, right? I mean, I have a treachery in hand. I'm not going to snap price this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, need a second blue. You got it. You're going to draw six more? I have a worm coil on board. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> All right. It did not pay off. All right. Well, that's a thing. I mean, maybe they had force. I can't imagine they had very few blue cards, it seemed, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna take Direfleet Daredevil for the Beast Within, I think. Beast Within is, has been very good. No, I like Direfleet. The The problem is, like, we've played against matches that the Direfleet has not been great in, but it's still pretty good when it's when it's good. 
Man, you ain't kidding about that greatness at any cost. Yeah, we just want to live the Dire Fleet Ancestral or Dire Fleet Time Walk dream. That's really all we want to do. Uh, this hand is great. We can get a stomping ground with this guy, which is our red source. It's also our... No, it's a Bayou's our green source. That's pretty good. So we can go stomping ground into... Uh, Night, Night's Whisper, Night's Whisper, but then oh, they they suspended a Lotus Bloom. Well, that's now that's our red source. I hope they play an artifact. This deck deck is uh, draw two then discard two. There's no you don't have to choose how much. Well, we have no instance in hand, so I might as well play a DAC here. And hope we don't die, I guess. Black Cleaf Cliffs is trash. Stomping Ground's kind of trash, but it's a second red source. All right, well. Are we dead? I guess we'll find out. I mean, this is nice because they uh, if they don't use Lotus Bloom, we can steal it. I also feel it coming, but yeah, what are you going to do? Well, this is a good start. This is a good start. We got a Mesmeric Fiend in the sideboard, so I don't think we can lose, actually. Oh, they do only have two cards though. That is pretty interesting. And even if they even if they like Yogmoss will here, they're getting Bloom Ritual Lion's Eye Diamond. So Also, if they play like Empty the Warrens, we have Pulse, which is nice. Also, there's no storm count. So there's a lot of weird factors going on here. Usually it says the storm. Oh, there we go. But how do you draw this? I bet they have a way. He's got a way to draw this. I don't know what it is, but I bet that it's a friend. What the fuck? <laughs> let me uh, let me look through my library. Okay, you win. <clears throat> well, that's something right there. That was something. Let's take out the dismember. Bring in. Mesmeric Fiend. Take out, I'll bring in this because it's actually a decent counter spell. I'll take out the Shriek Maw. I do like having Ultimate Price for uh, 
their Baral if we need it. Beast Within also kills Lotus Bloom on upkeep, which is kind of nice. And probably better than Vraska's Contempt. Hmm. Well, that was something. I mean, they didn't have to try to go off there if they didn't have anything. I'm going to keep this hand because we do have a ponder. So that's good. That's a good start. And, we're, and we have a Knight's Whisper. So like we have a ways. We've got some ways to draw cards. Mm, I want to hit some. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Um, I'm putting the ultimate price second because if they do play Baral next turn, I want to be able to kill it. And that's not it at all. That is a yikes from me, dog. Mmm, that's a lot of lands. And by lands, I mean a lot of mana. Get out of my face, you bug. God. Gerd. So they have no red mana, so I don't actually care about these two. Probably just want the dismember, I guess. Because <laughs> that's the only thing that kills this guy next turn. And we have Pulse for Thousand Year Storm anyway, so... Okay. This hand is not that bad. Uh, for for us. Yep, there's that. Now you play Brawl. Now we kill it. Now you have Kolagon's Command Thousand Year Storm. That's pretty cool. Neither really do much of anything. William Joel. Oh, look, they drew the red, so now they're going to Thousand Year Storm. I'm going to Maelstrom Pulse it. Um, Actually, Maelstrom Pulse is probably worse than just Knight's Whisper him to Torak here. Nice. Nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think we're actually just going to keep up Mystic Snake here. But we're not going to be able to do that if we play Watery Grave tapped. So we're actually going to kill the Thousand Year Storm. All right, well. A guy I knew used to do customs at Boeing Field and it was the airport the private jets coming down from Canada stopped at. Yeah, that's pretty good. He got on a plane one time and was like, oh, one of you is famous, I'm not sure which one. It was William Joel. <laughs> is that a real story? That's just crazy. Um, they can kill us next turn, so we kind of want to keep Mystic Snake up. And then we want to try to kill them in response to them killing us. Yep. As far as... I mean, like they don't have the mana to really exploit Yawgmoth's Bargain here. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. <laughs> that's it that's all you got huh one two three four five six we want to have eight mana before we cast Xenagos well that's a good start boy this Mesmeric Fiend is doing some work
You gonna counter this? Oh, you're just gonna untap your monolith. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Trillium Joel. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't know if he, I don't know if he'd really pass that. Uh, they call him Trilly J for short, right? They wouldn't call him Trilly Joel. That's too long. So they got ten after this. And then they only get so many, so many draws from this dude. We get one Mystic Snake. Little Trill. <laughs> yeah, that, these are all good. These are all solid names. I don't know if you have a Mirari's Waking Plane, you tap a Mishra's Workshop, can you only spend the extra one colorless on artifacts as well? That I do not know. Alright, well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. God, Yawgmoth's Bargain was a, just a ridiculous card. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? All right, you got, you got that. You got three. That adds one mana, so I'm just going to let you. I'm going to let you have that one. Storm count one. That one is not going to resolve so easily. You got one more. You don't have any more draws left now. Okay, so that resolves, and I get to destroy your Yawgmoth's will. Seems good. All right, well. Demonic Tutor. I'm getting demoed. We just win the game. All right. <laughs> Again, it's like, hold on, I got Demonic Tutor. Okay, you win. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. That deck was pretty sweet, even though the first round did not go as we would have liked. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com. Uh, the link and the description and the link and the promo code are in the description below. So definitely use that if you want 20% off your first three months of any subscription. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, those are both great deals and great ways to support the stream outside of simply subscribing or following, which you can also do on Twitch or on YouTube. So slam those buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.